I'm Chuck. I'm Nick. Trusty sidekick. This is the Tag Mill. And what we are getting ready to do is show you a quick way to adjust your Z. We're having a little problem with it wanting to jump. And the nut that holds all this together is worn out is what we think is happening. So we're going to show you how to real quickly pull one of these apart and put it back together without disassembling the entire machine. So first off, Katie, if you point right in here for me, we're going to unplug the motor and then we're just going to release this side screw right here that holds the motor to the machine and we're just going to lift the whole thing off just like that and set it off to the side. Alright, Nick, if you'll grab that, but we just are. Actually, we can set this motor off to the side. We don't need it now. Next thing we're going to do is to pull this whole Z unit apart. We're not going to disassemble the whole thing. What we're going to do is strictly kick these two screws out right here. Nick, if you'll hold that whole Z unit. Okay, let's just lift the whole thing out. Now, what we're going to do is see this brass block right here. I left the motor intact for one reason because I want to adjust this. Okay, so I'm going to loosen these screws up a little bit. Alright, Nick, let's go ahead and run the Z. Oops, hang on. Let's do it at a slow. Alright, I'm going to tighten this screw down until it locks it up. Right there, okay? Now I'm going to loosen it just a little. Alright, try that, Nick. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to tighten it till it locks it. Loosen it and crank it just a little. Okay, now I'm just going to tighten this one. Okay, that's how, I, that's how we do the Z-lock. Okay, or this uh, brass block on the Z. Alright, next thing. Let's get this motor off of here. So, collar that holds this in place. Now, let's get this wire here because it's going to twist on us. Now we're just going to up. Uh, you manage that wire for me as I turn this. Okay. Now there's three nylon pins in there and one here. Now this is what we suspect is our culprit, that this is getting loose, that that's spinning a little too free. So what we're going to do here, uh, we need that big pair of pliers out of my bench to hold that right there, that you want this to spin, but I don't want it to spin quite that free. And I've adjusted this twice, and uh, I just think the nylon bushing is worn out. So let's hold that. Let's get this off of here. And we'll put the new one on. Alright, now when it's loose, see how that spins? We gotta take a lot of that out of there. Alright, now, alright, I can start to feel it catching right there. I think I like that right there. It spins, but then it's gonna stop. I'm happy with that. Alright, Nick, let's uh, reset this motor. Uh, always remember, put this on first. 
we forget it a lot. There's a nylon pin right there. if you'll shoot right into here that right here we want a sixteenth of a uh, sixteen thousandths of an inch gap so I've got my feeler here so you'll notice as I tighten this up this gap is closing it's a little big somewhere right in there maybe one more half a turn Turn it around. Barely back this off. Okay. There's my 16,000. So I'm happy with it. All right. Now I'm going to put this lock back on here. I'm going to drop the wrench at least twice. this go ahead and spin that Z real quick there you go all right that's good all right now we're gonna put this whole thing back together real fast so do what what about that yeah I thought it sounded fine all right we're gonna slide this back on here Get this tight. All right, Nick, I'll run the Z real quick and let's just make sure it runs up and down. I'll take the motor. Looks good, sounds good. Next thing, we're going to take our motor and we didn't have to disassemble all of this. We're going to slide this right down onto here. I have Nick tighten this set screw. I'm going to reach over and plug it in. I'm going to turn it on. Nick, run it up and down. And what was that? Four minutes, five minutes top, something like that. That's how you adjust your Z and tighten your Z up on this. Thanks.